I'm Charles Bankhead of MedPage Today, reporting from the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. Stellate ganglion block may have a role in management of severe hot flashes, night sweats, and sleep disturbance in selected postmenopausal breast cancer patients. About two-thirds of a small group of patients had symptomatic relief after one or more of the nerve block procedures, and in most cases the improvement was durable. Dr. Patrick Nevin of University Hospitals in Leuven, Belgium, said the procedure works even if no one is sure how it works. The mechanism behind uh, the stellate ganglion block is not yet known how it may affect the frequency and the severity of hot flashes. We don't know the mechanism. It's a paraspinal block blocking the stellate ganglion block. Um, it's been used for other indications. This is an entirely new indication and we still don't know. How soon after a procedure do patients notice a difference? Within a day. It's a very um, efficacious procedure. Within a day, um, you have seen the data for assessment at week one. Almost all patients did feel a difference at week one. Um, some of the patients didn't see this at week 12. That's why some of the patients had a second or even a third block. And with each block, there was some effect. However, some patients didn't see any effect at all. That's the minority. So you have to explain the patient that it may not be efficacious in her case. How long does the procedure take and have you had any complications or adverse events? We didn't have any side effect to these patients. Um, the procedure takes 10 minutes and um, after one hour the patient went home. There is an acute side effect of the procedure, which is the Horner syndrome. You, the eye gets down, you get meiosis of the eye. You can get a localized hot flush of the sheet. Um, How long does that last normally? 20 minutes, and after an hour it's gone. But the patients, we did require them to be brought back home by a chauffeur, so they could not drive by themselves. This is a safety concern by our ethical commission. But after having done 24 patients in this study, and nine patients previously, we think that we now know this procedure as being quite safe in this small group of patients. From the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium, I'm Charles Bankhead, MedPage Today.